There are currently 2,339 polling stations selected for Monday's general and regional elections. Of that amount, 92 are at private residences as opposed to 166 at the last elections in 2015. The People's Progressive Party wants 12 more polling places to be added, and the General Secretary of the party, Bar Jagde, on Tuesday raised his concerns during a meeting with the full commission. The party asked for 12 more polling places to be added in its support base. So we said we need just four more polling places in Fowles. You can you select where they are because they are the list. They can be anything, you can even put up tents, but people have a right to vote in their own communities. This is discrimination. They have to move over two miles to vote in another area. We're saying in these areas, and yes. we have limited it, we want a fair treatment in these areas. And there is nothing by no standard, including the international community looked at it, that there you can judge this as being fair. The PPPC is contending that a willful effort was made to reduce the number of polling places in its stronghold communities by eliminating private residences in those communities. On Friday last, Chief Elections Officer Keith Lowenfield told the media that private residences were only used where absolutely necessary. He further denied knowing where any party has a strong support base to which the opposition leader responded. Because the circumstances as dictated there is absolutely no public building, public or other building, that could have been used in these instances, and therefore we had no choice. The residents of those particular divisions, subdivisions, have to vote. There are 11 parties contesting. Can you say to me, what are the strongholds of these parties? I can't. So I, I, don't, I don't buy the point that this is David, Tom, the entire space belongs to all the contestants. And for you to ask me to tag one uh, or geographical areas belonging to a party, it's an unfair suggestion to me with respect. And it, there is no secret in Guyana. We live in Guyana. We know which communities are vote in favor of one party or the other. Chicom said its decision to reduce private residences follows a recommendation from the Carter Center in its report after the 2015 national elections, which noted that while the location does not negatively influence public confidence in the electoral process, Gcom should ensure that citizens can cast their vote in a neutral environment. It should be noted, however, that while Gcom removed all private residences on the east coast of Demerara and some communities in Barbies, it did not do the same for other areas in the country where private residences are widely being used as polling places. A total of 660,998 persons are on the official list of electors to vote at the 2020 elections. Members of the Joint Services cast their vote last Friday. Bibi Katoon, Newsroom.